Hello, welcome to Dear Dr. Mao every Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today's topic is how to get vitamin D naturally without sunlight. There's been an epidemic going on and it's not the pandemic. It's a nutritional deficiency that a majority of people in the world lack. That nutrient is vitamin D. You see, an increased focus on protecting the skin from sun damage and a change from an outdoor to an indoor lifestyle in the last 100 years has led to a serious problem with vitamin D deficiency in many developed parts of the world. What we're talking about, actually, is not a vitamin. It's a pro-hormone. Pro-hormones are substances that the body converts to a hormone. The body makes vitamin D in a chemical reaction that occurs when sunlight hits the skin. This reaction produces cholecalciferol, and the liver converts it to calcidiol. The kidney then takes it and converts that to calcitriol, which is the active form of hormone in your body. Why should we care about vitamin D? Well, it's absolutely necessary for calcium absorption to build strong bones. And it's responsible for brain development, a healthy immune system, and, it, and strong teeth. Some studies have shown that vitamin D may reduce the risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease, certain cancers, infectious disease, muscle pain, and neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's and dementia. If you are lacking in vitamin D, you will also have a higher risk of developing osteoporosis. Infectious diseases like colds and flu, actually the current pandemic has highlighted the importance of getting enough vitamin D to keep your immune system healthy. Other conditions you'll be at high risk include high blood pressure, Parkinson's disease, and autoimmune conditions such as multiple sclerosis and diabetes. Low levels of vitamin D have also been linked to depression and schizophrenia. Are you getting enough vitamin D from the sun? Absolutely not. Even if you lived at the equator, you wouldn't make enough vitamin D unless you were outside daily and having a significant amount of sunlight exposure. Unfortunately, most people are indoors working between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., the only time our bodies make vitamin D. While we can eat vitamin D-rich foods, such as fatty fish that includes salmon, tuna, cod, hard cheese, organ meat, egg yolk, and fortified dairy and other beverage, or taken in supplement form, most people are still woefully deficient in it. Since everything I've mentioned so far are from, from animal sources, getting vitamin D from food is a huge challenge for vegans. People who choose to eat no animal products whatsoever for moral or health reasons. However, I have good news. There is a single plant-based source of vitamin D. Mushrooms. In ancient China, mushrooms have been treasured not just for their culinary value, but also for their medicinal properties. Six different types of mushrooms were listed in the original Materia Medica a book on healing herbs dating back over 5,000 years that formed the foundation for Chinese medicine. In it, mushrooms like rishi or ganoderma and yunzhi or turkey tail were described to possess properties, quote, revitalize the heart, increase cognition, restore memory, improve hearing and vision, calm spirit, strengthen the bones and tendons, lighten the body and rejuvenate complexion. End quote. Modern research has proven mushrooms therapeutic value in supporting immune function, inhibiting infections, fighting cancer, elevating mood, and reducing inflammation, most probably due to their high beta glucan and also its vitamin D content. Here I've got some edible mushroom varieties such as maitake, oyster, and shiitake, all containing natural levels of vitamin D when they are exposed to sunlight. Similar to when humans are exposed to sunlight, mushrooms convert a precursor to vitamin D called ergosterol into vitamin D2 when exposed to UV light. And though this vitamin D is technically different from the, the vitamin D3 found in animal products, vitamin D from mushroom has been shown to be highly absorbable and usable by the body. 
As a vegan source of vitamin D, it is just as effective at elevating and maintaining blood levels of the nutrient. In fact, research has shown that consuming 2,000 units of vitamin D2, whether from mushrooms or from supplements, leads to the same level of vitamin D or 25-hydroxy vitamin D in the blood as consuming vitamin D3. Interestingly, though, indoor grown common varieties that you find in supermarkets do not have any D unless they're exposed to UV light. So here's the secret. To increase the vitamin D content of the mushrooms you eat, simply expose them to sunlight with their gills up from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. In fact, a study found that shiitake mushrooms dried outdoors in six hours of sunlight over two days had much more vitamin D when they were dried with their gills facing up. Here is the amazing change. They went from containing 100 IUs per 3.5 ounce to nearly 46,000 IU, and that's 460 times higher vitamin D after exposure to the sun. Besides containing all this rich supply of vitamin D and beta-glucan, Mushrooms are a powerhouse of other nutrients, including B vitamins, fiber, and important minerals such as selenium, copper, and potassium. They're also delicious and have a meaty texture. You can chop it up, mix it in your hamburger patty to reduce your meat consumption, or try grilling a portobello mushroom and use it as a plant-based burger patty. Having said all this, if you want to avoid the sun, and don't like eating animal products or mushrooms, which of course, I don't know how, you'll need to take it in a supplement form. I recommend that you get a minimum of 2,000 IUs per day for adults of average weight to prevent and treat vitamin D deficiency. Oh, and it is fat soluble, so make sure you take it with some fats like avocado, oil, and nuts to help with absorption. In summary, I hope you've now realized how important vitamin D is to your health and longevity and the prevalence of vitamin D deficiency in the world, even if you are in the sun regularly. It's important to get enough of it ideally from your food and in particular from the most potent source, the delicious mushrooms. I hope you've enjoyed today's segment. Tune in next week when I will talk about how the plant-based diet may save your life. Until then, live long, live strong, and live happy.